Hi everyone, welcome back. Those that are new, welcome. Today I'm going to be looking into the Idaho Fall once again. The prosecution are arguing the stay order, well, the partial stay order that was made by the judge for the 37 days extension on the speedy trial. So I would like to know what they're going to argue and what the judge will decide. So let's get straight into it. Keep in mind everyone is innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. This is a tarot reading and is all in my opinion. So what are the state going to argue and will they be successful in arguing against this 37-day extension that the defence has received in the case? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands in reverse. We have the Nine of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Give me three more, please, Spirit. The High Priestess. The Magician, one more card please Spirit, thank you, page of Wands. Okay, I do believe this is going to be a very quick read today this. Now it's showing that the defence was given what they wanted in regards to the extension or a an extension to read over the information that was delayed to them. So that gives them more time to be able to go over all the jury, the grand jury notes that they they didn't receive. And what the prosecution are going to say is the defence are requesting a speedy trial. So he needs to waiver the speedy trial to get extra time. Okay, I'm going to go further into this. Why is the Nine of Cups here?
We have the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Yes, I do believe that this would symbolize the defense team and the King of Pentacles will obviously, that could be the judge, that could be Koberger's lawyer. So they did get what they wanted here and I believe that the prosecution is saying, well, he can't have his cake and eat it too. He's requesting a speedy trial. Give me more on the page of wands. Oh, page of swords, please. Oh, too many. Yep, we have the Ace of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, the Page of Swords. They were waiting. For more information, Page of Wands, the Messenger, Page of Cups, Fishy Alibi. So they still may be waiting on his alibi as well. And the Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords shows on the Page of Swords that they were given extra time because the information they needed was he's trying to keep everything just in the situation. But the prose prosecution believed that he was, he's been given his cake and eating it too. There could be some sort of precedent set by the judge in future cases to allow defendants to be able to get a Extension on their speedy trial. So what they're saying is he's requested a speedy trial. So that is it. He gets the six months unless he waives his speedy trial. They're worried about a precedent that could be set by the judge. That is one argument. And saying that he's getting it both ways, having his cake and eating it too. He hasn't had to waive his speedy trial, but he's getting extra time, continuation. So I believe that the prosecution might be wanting the defence to waive their speedy trial. But it looks like to me that the defence actually want the speedy trial. They're ready. They're ready to go ahead. They want to keep the speedy trial but they don't believe in the in the way that the judge has given them extra time over that 6 month period 
they don't believe that he has the power to do that because they will bring out a lot of legal jargon within their argument saying that he has to waive his speedy trial or partially waive his speedy trial to be able to get an extension. So give me more on this Eight of Wands. Yes, we have the King of Cups. So the offering of information, there was a delay in the offering of information. So that is why it has been granted. The judge didn't want to waive the speedy trial. He wants to keep it moving. So he gave them the 37 days to go over the information that took them a while to get because he believes that that's what's fair. He believes that the, the prosecution are the ones that delayed the information getting to them in regards to the grand jury. But, the, but they believed that information by the grand jury didn't have to be given to them. But in the end, they agreed to it. But because there was a delay, this is the reason why the judge has given them extra time, the 37 days. So here's the defence here in the speedy trial. And that's what the problem is about. Him not having to waive the speedy trial and still giving an extension further than the six months. The judge is very confident but he's not going to take further action in the action that he's already taken and he's confident in the in the decision that he's already made so I do not believe that the defense Oh, sorry, that the prosecution are actually going to be able to argue on point with this situation. There are some good arguments here on why he doesn't waive his speedy trial, but I do believe that the judge has given him that extra time to go over what was, wasn't given to them in enough time. He's trying to keep everything above board and just so that the defence can't get them on anything saying that anything was unfair at all, that they had an unfair advantage, that, that the prosecution had an unfair advantage over them, they didn't get enough time to be able to go over their evidence and therefore trying to get a mistrial. But they believed that the defence should have had to have waived their speedy trial, and I believe what the judge is going to do is give them that 37 days, and after that point, 
then there'll be no more. You will have to waive his speedy trial. So whatever the prosecution are going to argue at this time, they do have a fairly good argument. But the judge knows what he is doing here and he does have awareness in what he is doing. There's not going to be any extra action taken here over the 37 days. He's not going to withdraw that 37 days. He has the power to, but he's given them this 37 days because of the delay in the information that they've received, keep everything above board, giving the defence nothing to be able to hold against the courts in any way. There are certain exceptions to the rules. And if you know law, there's exceptions to exceptions to exceptions and it just goes on and on and on. So yes, he, the judge definitely does have the power to make this decision, even though they're going to argue that he doesn't and bring out all, all the legal jargon. But he does, and he knows he does. So it will be good news for the defence that they get to keep their 37 days. And I don't believe that the judge will change his mind. Now, if there is further... time needed in this case then they'll have to waive it as it says here they were actually given their cake and eat it too given everything that they wanted But no, they won't be successful. I shall leave the reading there, a nice short reading today. But for anyone that I have confused, I'll just do a quick recap. The defence believed that, sorry, the prosecution believed that the defence had been given everything that they want. They're having their cake and eating it too because... They've requested a speedy trial and they should have to waive the speedy trial. The defence should have to waive the speedy trial if they want more time. But the judge gave them that extra time because there was delay in the offer of information here from the prosecution in regards to the grand jury. There's not going to be any more action taken towards 
their arguments. He will be standing his ground. He's made, he's already, he's got the power to make this decision. And it is good news for the defence. Love and light.